African wear has risen to become among the most fashionable and sought after designs over the years, but Kenyans are yet to fully embrace the culture of wearing African designs on a daily basis. We meet Mary Faith Vutali, the owner of House of MK Designs that sells ready to wear Ankara clothes alongside Ankara fabric. So how did the idea for House of MK Designs come about? I, I, I don't know when to say I started because it started like a joke initially. Um, I lost my job at, um, in 2012, just about elections. We lost, what is it called, funding from the donors. And after that, um, I was left jobless. I didn't know where to go. I was so used to working. Then I met this guy and we were friends and he introduced me to the black soap, the shea butter, told me about West Africa. Initially, it was just a joke. I would go to West Africa and back with maybe two or three fabrics. Then when I came back, my friends would ask me. When I come back, I would sell them. My friends would then ask me uh, on, the, on my next trip, when I come back with more fabric, they'll be like, we've not even sewn the other one. Then I realized there was a market gap, which was people were really scared about the tailors. So then that's when I thought about um, introducing the, what is it called, the ready-made wear. What was the initial investment into the business? So initially I did not even have anything. I remember I actually started with two soaps and two oils. Sorry, four soaps and two oils. Uh, but then I was not even so sure whether it would sell. So I came and I just shared with my friends and everybody wanted what I was selling. Then I have two friends. So I borrowed from one 20,000 shillings and another one I borrowed 50,000 shillings. I told them about what I wanted to do and they gave me the money. Then by then uh, where I was working, I had gotten like about 50,000 shillings. So I added that to a sum of about 120,000 and that was my initial capital. Mary tells me some of the challenges she faces in the fabric business. We try and use very good fabrics to make the clothes. But again, there's this China, extremely very, very cheap clothes that are uh, coming up. So people don't know the difference. As long as the print is the same, and you know Chinese are always copying the prints. Even whenever you're doing very nice dresses, Chinese are always copying prints. That's one problem. Number two, what would be the other challenge? The other challenge would be customs. Because by all means, um, Apparently, Kitenge attracts 50% um, uh, VAT. Is it VAT? Duty. Duty, yes, 50%. Unlike other uh, clothes that come from, let's say, Turkey, China, and all. So it's like they don't like African prints. I've never understood why. So what advice would you give other women who are looking to start their own businesses? Number one, don't be scared. Most people are really scared of business, which is true. Number two, also you have to equip yourself. It's, it, it, people tend to think that business is just about business. It's not. You must equip yourself with knowledge. Go back to school if possible. Like myself, by there I went back to school. Um, I'm currently doing my master's um, uh, in, uh, in uh, marketing. Can you imagine? So I'm still even learning. As much as I'm in the business, I'm still actually still learning about how to do it better. Number three, seek for advice as much as possible. Look, up, look around and see what the rest of the people are doing. Never be too complacent and say, I know it all. Nobody does, no matter what, no matter how long you've been in the field. I've been in here for long, but every other day we are learning. Mm -hmm. Never stop learning.